wanted to be in a place that already accepted music and the arts, that I didn't really have to create it from scratch. I'm a musician as well, yeah. and, uh, and I've been playing in this neighborhood for about five years or so. And obviously there's a lot of history in this neighborhood for music and artists, and it's been that way for you know, since the 60s. What I was most surprised with was the communal feeling of the musicians yeah. and just the group of everybody that, that was uh, that was playing this neighborhood and got to be really good friends with a lot of them, got to really appreciate their music. And then just, you know, as I developed those friendships, I said, you know, it would be really great if I could be in that neighborhood where all those people gravitate. wants to pop in for a half a second and see a song. Maybe they were just walking by and they didn't know they were going to come in. It was always the kind of place I wanted where people could come and meet each other and link up and play with each other and date each other and, and you know, yeah, that yeah. whole thing just to kind of create this uh, a community, a family, a people and it's, and it's great. It's something that we're going to continue to, to build on as we move forward. I'll be okay with you Stay the same a lot of people come in and feeling like we've been here forever. We're already entrenched, we're already sort of a, a staple in the, in the community. And we just got lucky. Our vision ended up being exactly what ended up happening. Right. And, uh, but even if it were to end tomorrow, I feel like it's a success. I knew what the community could be like, um, and I sort of had a stable of musicians that I knew would play here before I even opened. Our neighborhood is very supportive of us, the other businesses on the streets are very supportive of us, and obviously the artist community is very supportive yeah. of us. He's not drunk enough yet, that was a tight ending. Yeah.